Hey, I want to say this. Sometimes we need to take a chance in our faith, right? We need to step out and believe that Jesus is going to do what he has said he will do for us, right? He has promised us many things in scripture and we can be overcome with fear where we're afraid to step out, uh, out of the boat, so to speak, right? Onto the water because it looks dangerous. It looks scary. It well, it might go against what looks like the rules say we should do. And uh, in this one instance, Jesus rolls into Bethany and he comes to the house of Mary and Martha and Lazarus. And this is a family that has supported him and followed him and he loves them and they love him dearly. And he's sitting in the house and he's teaching. Now, in that time... Uh, when a rabbi came in, uh, the men would all gather around the teacher and sit and listen to him as he spoke. And the women would be, be preparing all the, the meal and everything for what came afterwards, right? And uh, Jesus is teaching and Mar Mary uh, plops herself down on the floor and listens to Jesus teach. Now, let me say something. She's breaking the rules. This is not the norm. Women don't usually do that. They should be out, right, working, getting the food ready. And Martha gets upset. She gets a little bent out of shape, and she walks up to Jesus, and she's like, hey, can you get Mary off her butt and get her over here so that she can help get everything ready? And Jesus says, hey, Martha, relax. You worry a lot about a lot of things. Mary has chosen the good thing to choose right here. I'm not going to take that away from her. You see, Mary took a chance. She wanted to know who this Jesus was. She wanted to hear what he had to say about coming into a relationship with a loving God and how she could go about it. And it was through knowing Jesus that she could get closer to God, right? And Jesus isn't about to take that away from her. Mary took a chance, and it paid off for her in the long run. Now, as we go through our lives, are we willing to take a chance? If we hear that whisper in our ear one night when we're praying, hey, uh, why don't you start a Bible study? But I'm just... I'm nobody, you're right, but with the power of the Holy Spirit working in you and listening to where God calls you to go, that can happen. Hey, why don't you start to work with underprivileged kids? Why don't you start to work with the homeless? You know, there's a couple shelters within 15 minutes of your house. Hey, why don't you start to work with the addicted? Because you've got some addiction in your family background and you've, you've helped people out. Maybe you can, right? And why don't you visit the elderly? Hey, have you ever thought about going to a prison and opening up a prison ministry? And we make all these excuses, right? Why aren't we taking the chance? Just like Mary did. Why don't we leap at the opportunity when Jesus calls us, when Jesus presents an opportunity, why don't we go, you know what? I'm all in and take that chance. May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen. Amen.